can make <laughs> the grand finals here. The winner's final rematch. Yeah. So obviously, Sonic Fox being in the winner's song, so Chris G's got to do it on two sets. And I mean, Sonic, despite his different character, you know, he's not playing his Go Tanks right now, he's still looking good. He's still showing the strength of Android 18 for sure. I feel like Sonic Fox is one of those players who He's played so many games, he's played so many characters, that he's able to pick up a new character and get very proficient with them very quickly. And obviously he puts in a lot of time. A lot of time in the lab, a lot of time playing online, offline. This guy just lives and breathes video games and fighting games in particular, I guess. Well, I mean, you know, he um, he's always shown that exact thing that you're talking about, the fact that he can just pick up a character and do super well in many games. Like, you know, he does it in DOA, he's done it in NetherRealm games, etc., etc. I can go on, honestly. And here we go. Grand Finals, Game 1, Chris G, Sonic Fox. Getting so, right oh, higher level Super Dash for Chris G, though. And because she doesn't actually require a Super Dash to combo off of Jump 2 H's, she has now got the corner, and she's going to get a real strong knockdown situation. Oh, we can't get out of this. You can't call an assist, either. <laughs> That's so threatening. Like, there it is. It's like 17. He's just standing there, menacingly. <laughs> Patrick, he's just standing there. <laughs> wow, that late air dash slide. Yeah, so um, one thing that's uh, interesting about Android 18 is she can do three overheads in that situation if she so chooses. And of course, she could choose not to. And that means it's absolutely terrifying to be on the receiving end of. But Chris G's managed to fight his way out. He's got the knockdown now. He can, yeah, I was going to say he can do the snap loop if he wants. He's got to be able to get the hit. Yeah, that's the problem. I feel like he probably should have just decided to kill the character instead. You've got to be really careful when you snap in someone like Kid Boo as well. His smaller hitbox means that a lot of your go-to uh, air-to-air attacks might actually whiff. And that's what happened there with Bardock's second hit of his JM. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't come back to haunt him. And now oh, it's looking like it might, but there's the reflect. Nice from Chris G. He got out of the corner. Gotta get that super dash in. There's tension, Han. Probably level three. I mean, you know. Have you seen this one before? I, this is the first time I've seen this, actually. That, that's a really cool animation. Yeah, you know, it also keeps him in the corner. I can't imagine that I would ever get tired of seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's going to be able to hit the hit on Android 18. So he's a dragon rush, and this should easily be a kill, for sure. Bring it on! Taking the first character, Chris G. But here comes Sonic Fox's cell, and we know just how dangerous this character is. Yeah, well, I mean, that just all depends on whether or not he's going to be able to get out of the situation. But okay, he does. He got the command, man. He got the hit, but oh no! Well, that air back dash JH. Dakio used it before in the corner. Christian used it here mid screen. Oh my god, he just keeps getting tagged by Jump H. <laughs> it's just a really good button. I mean, you're not wrong. Absolutely not incorrect in the slide. This will not kill, but this is a strong knockdown here. Sonic Fox does have sparking. Okay, I, I like that Chris G ran up to it the whole time, so he was trying to make it so that he didn't feel comfortable being able to perfect attack on wake up and get out of jail for free. Wow, Chris G blocking the empty low. Oh, and what a conversion off of that. He's gonna get a ton of damage here. He's gonna get a ton of damage and crucially waste a lot of time. That sparking is now over. <laughs> a lot of meter for Sonic Fox. So yeah, there it is. We talked about the being able to reflect the vanish and get a free punish off of it in the corner. That is how you deal with that situation. And that's how you deal with DP vanish is you 2H it. Get out of here. I'm not sure why Chris G, he could have called the Gen to make it safe. I'm Either sure. that or Bardock. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure why he just went for a roar, but look, he's still alive. Vegeta's not dead. He's still in a good position here. Yeah, I guess he just got lucky. Wow, what a block from Sonic Fox. Oh, and then the challenge with the 2M. Nice. Pump air back dash. Like I said, Kid Boo's at 2M. If you think you're safe, you're never safe. Okay, but this is actually a situation we saw with Nakio um, previously. Remember how Sonic Fox and Nakio were both willing to spend their sparking to save their fun characters? Well, look, Chris G still has his sparking, right? Yeah, see, he can either get out of jail or he can get that health back if he so chooses. Sonic Fox with the excellent blocks, but oh my god, no! He just barely dropped it. Oh, but the reflex gets body. He's not going to be able to kill off this, but as we said before, Chen can have sliding knockdown whenever he wants. He's going to chow through the knockdown, and look at how much damage he does. Jesus so Christ! Damage. Oh! 
That was not what he wanted. He wanted to land, but he crushed the Dragon Rush a couple of frames too early, giving Sonic Fox a way to get out of jail, and now he's going to get his level 3. No, uh, he, he went for the side up. switch, yeah. So he can either cross up or not if he so chooses right there. That is such a strong mix-up ability of that Kid through Super. It's not only does he get amazing damage because he can do multiple Supers, but he also has the potential to set you up. Chris G here fighting back. He gets the hit on Cell, that's so crucial. And now it's down to a one-on-one -on -one where he has the life lead. I mean, you know, a lot of signs do point to Chris G, don't get me wrong, but the neutral game with Kid Boo and Sonic Fox is neutral on top of that is just immaculate sometimes. Well, I mean, Kid Boo is in one touch range, but Bardock's in two touch range. Oh, okay, nice tech from Chris G. That was really important because that would have put him in the corner with a lot of damage on him. Oh, nice air there, there we go. Got to hit the vanish. It's an easy confirm from there, and Chris G taking the first game. 69 seconds. Nice. That was such a hectic game one. It's it's pensive, right? You don't want to be able to make a mistake because of like how it works with these characters. They're so strong at their mix-up potential. That's such a crazy tool that she has. She doesn't require a super dash to be able to combo off a jump to eight. Like, oh wow, that stand light has a crazy hitbox. It, it's actually really, really strong. And as we mentioned before, if you reflect 17, 18 doesn't care. She is still standing in your face and she's able to punish in that sort of situation. Yep. Pressure's still going, gonna get the Kid Boo back, but nice! That was the exact timing needed to be able to drag and push out, but unfortunately didn't fully get out of the corner. Finding himself blocking again, he gets Ron's Wade, and Sonic Fox, with the quickness, is able to figure out how to convert off of it. Level 1, level 3, I don't think this is gonna kill. I wonder if he could've killed if he uh, went into Kid Boo and self fight. Oh my god, yo, you calling all those assists, that guy? Chris G losing his point character. And what's not point is his Vegeta, right? So that's a very strong assist, which is now off the table for the rest of the game. Yeah. Oh my goodness, wow, he found a way to actually get around Android 18 assist. Sliding knockdown thanks to Tia. Thank you, Chaozu. Now the air to air, but unfortunately you can't. It's really hard to convert from that situation. He even tried. Oh my god, nice! He got the reflect on the Kid Boo ball, allowing him to get out of the situation. Sonic Fox recognized that, so he backed off. But that allowed Chris G to start his offense. There's Rolling Crush. One of them. It is minus, but he can backdash pretty safely. Yeah, it's also a meme of a move for sure. Oh my god, Larry, I think I crossed up! I would not be surprised. That move is... A magic button. Well, it's also because of how small Cell is, right? Oh my god, what a challenge. He just knew. I don't care about you and your plus frames. Here we go. This is going to be interesting. We've seen empty lows. We've seen cross-ups. We've seen fake cross-ups. Is there anything else where Sonic Fox is going to pull out of his bag here? Well, the worst part is that that level 3, it takes you out of the corner. Well, that's what lets you get the cross-up, though. Like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's oh, actually yeah. wild. Oh, he did up tech too. Sonic Fox was ready for it, but it was just a little bit too early. Unable to catch the invincibility. He's still going to get the corner, though. And the sparking time is about to run out. We've got another 18 mixer here coming. There's no sparking to save him this time either. No, but he does have a center bar. Yes, and she can't do anything about that. She's in the air. Chiaotsu is guaranteed. But that's all blue life, so if he manages to get 18 out, which I think he might do exactly that. Tag super? Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. Chiaotsu's sacrifice was in vain, unfortunately. I mean, that's just like the show. Just like the show. True to, true to the Didn't war. do anything to Nappa and died. Okay, he's going to get that level 3 knockdown. It's the same as Android 18, so remember that. This is the exact same super. Going up, going down, what's it gonna be? Dragon Rush? Oh, he tried to bait it too, because he, he double jumped. He tried, but Sparky has such a large hitbox. What an amazing call by Sonic Fox to get that Android 18 to stop the 2H from stopping him, so that he could then punish the 2H on Whip. And now he's gonna kill the character and take the game! One to one, evening it up. That was so good from Sonic Fox. Incredible player right there. Looking so much more comfortable there than the first game, I would say.
first game had a lot of back and forth, but I felt like in that second one, Sonic Fox kind of got his game rolling. And even though he's still, you know, he's taking some damage, it felt like he was in the driver's seat the whole time. I agree with Comfortable for sure. Oh my god, yeah, Stan M is such a strong fight. Now he's got a happy birthday here, and thanks to the fact that he doesn't need Super Dash to convert off it. Nice reflect from Chrissy, but he didn't recognize it, unfortunately. 18's calling when she calls out 17. It's a bit like a persona attack, you know, in the sense that it's like, hey, if you hit 17, it doesn't matter. So the main character hasn't taken any damage. Uh, sure, it like knocks away the hitbox, but she's still usually free to move. Yeah. Just like how a lot of people are pretty free to this mix up so far. Coming in with this knockdown. Let's see what it is this time. Is it fake? Oh, nice. He got the flag and he even got the call Vegeta, so that means he's going to get out. Bardock probably coming in, maybe. If he could call Vegeta, that means that wasn't a meanie. So I wonder if that setup actually does have a gap. Uh, maybe that specific instance, like you know, it's not always it's not always airtight. Sometimes they they can either mess up or like it could be a distance thing. Gonna get 18 back in here though. We're not done talking yet. Come back in. You didn't turn in your homework, 18. You gotta go to the parent teacher conference. With Grandpa Bardo. <laughs> Freaking Larry, it's me. <laughs> Who's Larry? <laughs> wow, that was like that was like the sixth or seventh one. Like, just keep doing it until it works. What a low class saying. Hey, he's a mid class warrior, probably. No, he's definitely a low class. Oh no, he warrior. was definitely low class. He was that's low right. class warrior. Yeah, all low class warriors look like that. That's that's why they all look the same. That's why Turles looks like that. But he proved his worth. He beat up on, uh, who was it? Nameless Freezer Soldiers 1 through 7. Well, he's definitely not proving his worth right now against Kid Bruise. He's gonna drop him into this corner. A ton of damage here, thanks to the Pearl Flash, into the level 3. Wakata, Wakata. Johnny. Johnny. Bye. Bye. Is it actually gonna be a farewell? Ah! Oh! oh, that was so scary! He hasn't gotten a single command. Chris G has reacted to both times he's command thrown. He's only command thrown twice in the tournament of the, uh, I mean, in the top eight. Once in winners finals when he jumped it, and the other time where he just tried to hard tag out. We keep talking about Chris G's defense, and that's because it is worth talking about. Oh, and there it is. That was another command throw, and he got out of it immediately. But look, I respect it. I respect that Sonic Fox is like, hey, he got out of this mix up. Let's do it again. Like, people, they often. Uh, have a, what do you call it, a gambler's fallacy, right? Where they think, hey, if he's done it twice in a row, he won't do it three times in a row, surely. But he did, that got him out, and it's even got the kill on 18 right now. Tien is gonna be able to get some blue health back, and Vegeta is so healthy. My man eats his Wheaties in the morning. Definitely the Cheerios to get rid of that cholesterol. And he does not microwave them. Who would not do something? Heathen. Who would microwave their cereal? Vegeta's not a human. Nice air to air from Sonic Fox. You gotta remember that Cell has one of the best air to air buttons in the entirety of the game. Oh, nice, he jumped out, he got the hit, but no full conversion, unfortunately. Chris is, but he's got him in the corner. He's got him in the corner. He's wasting all this time, so his assists have lit back up. The snapback is over. Oh, wow, the Super Dash, that's gonna be full conversion, and it's most definitely gonna kill. Didn't even need to spend the bar at the end. Okay, two to two for characters right now, and very similar health totals, but like. Similar health, similar meter. Both very strong shells, too. Oh, goodness, that's great for Chris. You can tell the moment Sonic Fox pressed that button, he realized it was a mistake, but there's nothing he could have done. Even if he vanished, Vegeta still would have kept hitting him. Hard knockdown right now, and here we go. Gonna take you for a ride. He just jumps out. <laughs> this mix-up has so many layers, they have to try to dig so deep to open them up. Oh my god, he got out of the kid blue ball too! I can't believe Chris G's defense! Oh, Chris G's defense! Oh, look at this, this is two to one! There's only a Cell left on Sonic Fox's side. We've seen him make Cell comes back before, but Chris G's in really good shape here. Okay, he tried to throw it. Okay, he's gonna be able to get hit here. So Sonic Fox has a lot of meter to work with, so this is obviously gonna be a hard knockdown if he wants it. Which, I mean, why wouldn't why, why would Why wouldn't you? You got five bars. Spent three. Will you take half of the opponent's health and get a hard knockdown? Oh my god, what? calm down! Okay, okay, that was insane. He didn't get the mix up, but you saw what he was going for, and it was 
it worked. Like, Christy got hit by that. Absolutely. Yeah, but the problem is it was just a little bit too far away, so he was unable to convert off it. I mean, that's just the nature of, like, how it works, unfortunately. But now this is down to a 1v1, no sparking. <laughs> so Sonic Fox will most assuredly build level 3 if he gets another hit, and he does, and that's going to do it for sure. Crispy like free. Sonic Fox's comeback ability, he can be down on life, he can be down on characters, and he, he has such a an ability to keep it together. He keeps his calm, he doesn't fold, and he clutches it out. Well, composure is one of the most important aspects of being a player of this caliber. Making sure that regardless of, oh, I got hit by that something, or oh, I messed up, I'm so bad. So, and making sure that doesn't happen to you, making sure that you can just make that comeback regardless of that, that is why they are here. <laughs> nice blocks! Oh no, the random five heavy. Oh, he's hit, not the hit, but no recognition from Sonic Fox. And I mean, how do you recognize it from that far, that deep? Oh, cross up there on it. That's great for Chris. That was so specific when it comes to the spacing that you need to be able to do that as a cross up. Okay, he's going to get the level three here as well. So Sonic Fox, he's been pretty successful at defending this, actually. Which, like, I think he's actually been the most successful so far. I mean, people talk about how strong it is. Because, like, the yeah, there we go. Why do I say words? I don't know. We say things. It's usually a fool's errand, but it's one of those things that, like, it's a high. Oh, and then the 2 H, what a reaction from Sonic Fox. That's so good for him. Gets the character so out. Cool that he managed to get 18 out. Look at that blue life. Half of her life bar is blue life, and she's going to get all of that back if Chris G can't land a hit here. Oh, and he's going to use the sparking to try and save Bardock, and he did exactly that, but no, he's super dash rather than attempting to get out of the corner. Which, by the way, I've talked about it time and time again. Sonic Fox says that he is always looking for free damage. I want you to super dash at me. Please do it. Chris G really needs to, I was going to say he needs to get Bardock out. He managed to guard cancel at the right time. Oh, now he's going to get 18 in as well. What became, what was normally a garbage mechanic became like a snapback. That was so, such a reversal there. He went from having Bardock on low life, facing Sonic Fox's cell. He turned it around, pulled in 18 and killed her. That's a huge shift in the momentum here in this potentially final game of the tournament. Yeah, as long as, oh, I was going to say, as long as he can hold that momentum for a little bit, even the fact that he used his sparking probably wouldn't be able to face him. But now that sparking choice may end up being a little bit worse. Sonic Fox is definitely with the resource advantage here. Sonic Fox respecting the Vegeta assist there. Of course he would. There's no reason. Like, the only thing that Sonic Fox can do is Super Dash, right? If he Super Dash, Chris G is just sitting below him. He's got a 2 h And as long as you block it in the air, you take away the high-low mix up It's really not as scary as it could otherwise be. And that jump medium from TN goes so far. Such a crazy good normal. It's a lot like Bardock's, actually, now that I think about it. I'm going to the 2S. Okay. Oh, but there's the Kid Boobah, the classic. I swear I reacted and I wanted to hit buttons. I've, I've sat in training mode. I've put that as the setup, and I can only do it, like, I don't know, three times out of ten. It's strangely difficult to time. Okay, he's got the hit here. I wonder if he's going to go into level three off the D-chain. Yeah, I thought so. Once again, he's not going to get a great setup here, but he will be able to close the gap. There's that sparking out of Sonic Fox. That's going to give him a lot of extra options. Yeah, because he had the empty vanish, he was able to beat that vanish with the 2H. He's sitting on a lot of meter. That's going to be a dead Vegeta here. Yeah, it's looking real good for Sonic Fox so long as he doesn't drop it. And I mean, like, I can't even tell you the last time I've even seen him drop it. Wakanda. Does he need a second one? Yeah, he, yeah, he needs a second one. It's OK. He's got to show his Wakanda pride, dude. Coming down to here, this could be the end of the tournament if Sonic Fox manages to land a good hit on Tien. All right, this is the one time I'm going to say this on commentary. You're never going to hear me say this again. There are six Dragon Balls. There are six Dragon Balls. Chris G, and he doesn't have a lot of options. And he's going to get this hard knockdown here in a moment. I know, Sonic Fox doesn't really seem like a Shenron sort of guy. He's going to use all his meters, so. Level three, here's the mix-up. Cross the ball, goes no, in front. There's the seventh one. Oh, and he gets the hit right there. That's huge. Chris G, I think, is he going to take the Chatsu knockdown here? I would. Can he take out Kid Boo and put himself back in this race? All right, Chatsu, let's see if you sacrifice this. Oh, my goodness, what? there you go. Cross, or fake cross up with the 
Oh, super dash! I thought that was gonna be a cross up. I mean, so did Sonic Fox. There's not a lot of health for Tien. Cell is sitting pretty, very healthy. This is gonna be an uphill battle, but it's not. Oh, but there's oh, a there two He can't chow through again, so he just has to hold this regular knockdown, unfortunately. But if he lands one more hit. Oh, the counter is gonna be this it! Down. This is dead, he's gonna go to Shin Kokoho! It's gonna be enough! Shin Kiko! And Chris G! I, that comeback was sensational. That was for you, Chao Tzu! That was for you, Chao Tzu, in the back of the crowd! The crowd is loving it right now. That Chao Tzu super definitely won him over. And that, that was so true to lore. You got Shin Kokoho on Cell. Yeah! Cell kinda got bodied by that move, straight up. Like, oh my god! Okay, I was gonna say, if he, were, if he combos off that. Uh, here we go, this is it. This is either gonna be tournament win or a grand final reset. Yeah. Oh, game. but no tech on the Dragon Rush. And remember, point character war has been pretty important. We may end up seeing a sparking from Sonic Fox, unless his kills. Oh no, he missed it. There's the sparking. Yep. Destructor did yeah, the test of down tag, and he got the hit. And with sparking, that's gonna do 60% even before supers. Okay, he can't tag and he can't call an assist now. And now he can, yep. That was so good, he timed that perfectly. Yeah, he waited that out exactly the right moment. Look at his defense! Okay. Sonic Fox used his Sparky very effectively to save 18, but if Chris G can take a character and make it 3-2 to two with Sparky, he's going to be in a very good situation. Yeah, but I wonder if we're going to see a Sparky from him on Wake Up after the level 3 here, actually. He might have to, I mean... Sonic Fox is in. He has both assists. Oh, nice! So Sonic Fox was looking for that wake-up sparking right there. That's why he backed off, because if he did sparking, he would EX perfectly that. You guys saw that from Zombie earlier. Plus... Oh, and he air dashed to catch the reflect! That's gonna be a dead 18. Oh, uh, let's just hope he doesn't drop it. Let's hope he doesn't drop it, yeah. We don't want to speak too soon. Okay, it's a dead 18. It's okay, we in there, we in there. talked about how important it is to get that first kill. Chris G has his sparking. Sonic Fox burnt his and lost his first character. Vanished out of the Dragon Rush. That way he doesn't have a kill to set up as well. Kamehameha coming out. He got hit. Maybe trying to 2-H it. Yeah, block this boy. Yeah. He's gonna carry him to the corner. He will be able to kill off this. I don't think it's a kill. Level 1, level 1? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. I always, I, I always underestimate how much damage Cell Super does. It does it's, eight, it's 800 plus. It's 814. Yeah. And every time, I don't expect it. You never underestimate these characters. Cell and Kid Boo, they do a lot of damage, these two. Especially Cell. More so than Kid Boo. Three. Three. What's the mix up? He goes high and Sonic Fox blocks correctly. Yeah, like I said, he's had a much higher success rate than everyone here at the event so far to be able to block after Mario on Golden 3. Oh, you got the counter hit here. And remember, he still has sparking. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's it. Okay, I want to hold my breath here because I don't want to jinx him. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I can, oh, I can exhale now. 814 minimum, baby. Man, I don't, I don't like commentators curse anyone in grand finals. Like that just wouldn't be right. Uh, he's working on his ability to possibly reset the bracket right now. Cell is the only thing standing in his way, but it's still Sonic Fox. I mean, when you say Cell is the only thing standing, in, that's a hell of an obstacle. Yeah, exactly, right? That might be one of the hardest obstacles in fact. Even as an anchor, he's so strong. Oh my goodness! Thank you, Sparking, for lasting just a fraction of a second longer, so that he can get that mix up. He's gonna get enough meter for level three if he wants it. There uh, it is. Tags it and bought off. Of course he will. Well, yeah, I mean, look, he gets such a strong setup of this. Even if Sonic Fox blocks it right most of the time, he only needs it to work once. Like right there, I like that Sonic Fox knew it was gonna be a low because it had to be a low, right? Because Sonic Fox has a bar to be able to perfect attack, so he wouldn't risk the overhead. Also, Isaiah, uh, I don't wanna spook you, but. Oh my god, yeah, you're right! There are seven Dragon Balls. And all oh, seven it doesn't matter! Uh, it doesn't matter, Chris Tree's gonna reset the bracket! There it is, we got some more Dragon Ball Fighters action coming to you right now. Chris G resetting the bracket with 13,000 Dragon Rushes. We are not done yet, ladies and gentlemen.
score goes back to 0-0. Both players in the loser's bracket. Immediately right in there right now. Super Dash has not been exactly contested very well once 18 has been on the screen. It's pretty much gone completely uncontested, in fact. Delay the pressure string with Sonic Fox with the patience. There's a solid reflect there. We saw earlier on that uh, lots of players were getting hit by that Lariat in the frame trap situation. Uh -huh. Sonic Fox is ready for it. Caught him super dashing with the full conversion of it. There's another one and he's going to convert off this for sure. He's going to get the soft knockdown here or... No, yeah, spend the meter. I think that's down. a very smart spend of meter. Okay, and Bob attack on this Dragon Red. Wow, Lariat's the raw tag. Okay, so we'll Dragon Rush tech again. Sonic Fox known for being able to tech out so well, but here. Block it! Block it! That is so hard. Chris G throws his hands in the air. He says, what can I do? The that messy mix-up guess. is unreactable. The messy guess. Oh, nice. He used, he used the Bardock special. He up tech to get out of the corner with the Lariat, but unfortunately he hard tag And Sonic Fox always ready. Oh, no punish, though. That's great for Chris. You can see that he wanted to punish it. Uh, never mind. He's got the character. Bardock is down. That's a big hit to Chris's team. Bardock has always done so much work. But you know who's done a lot more? Or, I mean, a lot of work as well? Tien. This character even got him the comeback. It's definitely a character that a lot of people wouldn't have expected to see here in the Grand Finals. Uh, I don't know, man. I've always thought this character was pretty good, personally. That's just a person for me. I mean, that's a dead Cell right there. I mean, he may not be Cell, but he's definitely going to kill Cell. Oh, he messed what? up no. the Kakao! <laughs> oh my god, yo, the patience! The defense here. He lost it for a while, but he just got opened up. No one has perfect defense, I'm sorry, it's just not. <laughs> That's what we talked about, good defense it doesn't just mean blocking, it's about knowing how to get out of blocking. Oh my god, he leveled three, but I believe he should be able to, oh no, yeah, it was the super dash. landing lag. Yeah, 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 because it does have a little bit. What's the mix-up going to be? I mean, he's smart on, so literally he's anything. Big cross up. Nice jump base right there, he's going to be able to get out, and because he has that sparking, he gets to punish it. Such a strong option there. If your opponent's sparking, I guess you gotta be really careful going for those dragon rushes on their wake up. Okay, so he's gonna get another one. There's the level three. He might use an extra bar. Yeah, I didn't think he needed it, but I think he would have been willing if he necessary. Definitely would have spent it if he needed to. Oh, he's in the air? Yep, that's a free punish. Gotta remember that. Oh my god, he doesn't punish cleanly. There it is. He's gonna try and get Cell back in here, or is he just gonna knock down? Okay. Remember, when you Dragon Rush, you have the ability to uh, to, to choose. If, oh, there's the overhead! Level one, level one. Good bit of damage there. If he lands, he's, he's too high for something like an overhead, but if he lands one touch, one Dragon Rush. Oh, Dolan Ray, unfortunately, didn't help him out enough, and yeah, because he had the assist there, he, that means he can jump cancel. It's as if your normals are being, quote unquote, hit, despite the fact that the point character is blocking. There was such good awareness there from Sonic Fox to know that that was happening, to know what his options were. And look, he's just got 60% combo. Oh, he got hit, so I got him out of cross up ball. Super Dash got him out of the corner, in fact, as well. Super Dash coming in. Yeah, oh, he was high up. Rock, paper, scissors. He was higher up. He was higher up. And that's going to leave Tien up to it all. He's got to fight Cell and Kidu, and that is a hell of a kill. A hill to climb. Well, I mean, we just saw Tien climb that hill just last game. That's true. It can be done. Shotsu? Okay. This is how it started. I mean, it's how it started last time. Three levels for Sonic Fox right now. Okay. Fox up. Oh, God. How did you block that? How did he? I, I don't even know. Oh, that's going to do it for the first game of the bracket reset, more than likely. Pearl Flash, protect that smile. What a cheeky little smile that is. Oh, man. Such a little angel, Kid Boo. Yeah, destroying planets and whatnot. Oh, oh, what a charming little rogue. Yeah. <laughs> Game number two coming in. Chris G actually, despite the fact that he kind of lost uh, just kind of started losing a little bit earlier. Was not out of that game completely. Even with TN by himself, he was starting to do kind of work. He got the hit, but no, he tried to Dragon Rush immediately afterward. Chris G seems to be finding really good times to reflect during his 18 pressure. It's not, obviously it's not affecting 18, but it opens him up to being able to draw tag and do other things like that. Yeah, that's one of the strong parts about Vegeta right there, is that light TP being able to catch Super Dashes. 
gets the end in there. And so his light DP is air invincible. But because it's not fully invincible, it doesn't leave them with 100% recoverable life. Uh -huh. Lock up. Okay, okay, Sonic Fox. Okay, if you can read my mind, command I want you to go for the cross up. He's going for command draw. I, I was wow. partially correct. Partially. I think it's because he thought Chris G was going to jump out of the command throw, so he went for the anti air dragon rush. Yeah. Okay, that connected that time. I remember that that missed last time, and that actually came back to bite him pretty hard. Oh, yeah. He's mid screen also, so cross up is, yeah, a prevalent option, but he got hit over it. He actually delayed the Rebellion Spear there. If you do it as soon as you can, your aerial won't hit. So he delayed it, and that's what let him do it on the way down without an air dash. And a lot of people aren't ready for that. Yeah. It, it, it's ambiguous to be able to tell if it was an actual delay or, or not, because, like, are you really counting frames over there? Like, some people might be. I'm not one of those people. Yeah, I am definitely not. <laughs> overhead. Oh, it was an overhead cross up. Okay, level three just to get that knockdown. Yes, baby. Solar, Ka, Mei, Ha. Oh wow. my god! That was so tricky. I was definitely not blocking that. Everyone's so used to Cell doing two hits of the overhead. That time he went one hit into a low. It was that's, all because of the delay. That's how you open someone up. Doesn't matter how good their defense is. You take advantage of what they've seen. You take advantage of what you've conditioned them to react to. And when you need it the most, that's when you pull it out. Trying to spot that cell offense. He couldn't block this earlier, but let's see if he can continue to do it. No, he pressed a button to try and get out, and that's going to come back to haunt him. We're going to see that solar one more time. Maybe like six more times this game. I don't know. Christy might be looking for a sparking here if he wants to just get out of the situation. No, reflect hard tag. Yeah, it's such a strong option. Oh my god. This is huge damage. Oh no, is he going to go for. Uh, Okay, he's gonna Dragon Rush here. Okay, no. It looks like he might be keeping Chen in. Okay. Well, Tian has definitely done more work than Vegeta on Anchor, I'll tell you that much. There's that spark in, there's that free punish that Cell gets, thanks to Age Perfect Attack. And that reaction was so clean there. He's not gonna be able to kill off this, but look at this time he's wasting, look at this damage he's dealing. This is definitely where Sonic Fox wants to be. And it, oh, well, no, this is where Chris oh, G oh, wants oh. to be now. Now it is. Just what a hero. I don't think I've seen this many dead Chatsus in one Dragon Ball Z set in my life. Definitely not. <laughs> you don't see a lot of people playing Tien, and they're not usually hitting that Chatsu too often. Oh my god, Sonic Fox with the reactions on the 2H there. Nice. It's looking good for him in game two here. If he puts himself up 2-0, to zero, there's going to be a huge confidence boost to go into the third game. Nice, he enticed him so hard with that. Get the sliding knockdown here. This is tense. Christian needs to play flawlessly for the next couple of minutes if he wants to bring this one back to 1-1. One, one. And here we go. Yeah, okay. That, that's the situation that really tells you whether or not you can play ballsy. Is that right there when Kid Buu EX balls? Oh, he got the Dragon Rush from full. That might have been a whiff punish on the 2M, honestly. Yeah, oh, but Sonic Fox got out. That's great for him. And now he's looking great to start controlling him. He doesn't have his assist, though. The snapback puts those assists on cooldown for such a long time. And there's the hit for Chris G. That's great. I don't think this is enough to kill, but he will get the hard knockdown. Of course he's going to take that. Why wouldn't he? You get a ton of damage. You get the hard knockdown. Oh, he was looking for your service attack. Maybe, yeah, but that 2H is definitely on deck. My god. He can't kill mid-screen off this, I don't think. But he may as well take all the damage he can get. It's not like it's recoverable right exactly. now. Exactly. It's all permanent. Oh, he got him, but he, uh, he dive-kicked on accident, probably trying to 2L. Because, like, that's one of the really hard parts about playing Vegeta is you're, you're higher up in the air than you think you are sometimes, and the hit stop slows you down, so you input 2L. But then you get dive-kick, and then you lose. Sonic Fox gets the air to air, puts himself up 2-0 in the reset. <laughs> I, I will have wink quote. <laughs> Dodon Ray trying to help out. No full conversion off it though. Vegeta coming in. No assist available for Chris D anymore. And there's that air to air. Meanwhile, Sonic Fox has got both of his assists let up. So if he gets the pressure here on block. Oh no, he gets out by up tech double jump. Nice tech from Chris G. Oh, he tried to super dash through it. And that was almost the right option. But it was a lower level super dash than Android 18. 
Sonic Fox is so good at reflecting in those frame trap situations. I guess it's pretty safe, because unless it's a low, you don't really get any risk. If they hit you with a mid, you just block it anyway. Yeah, that's true. Here we go. Using the 2H of 18 to get into the air. Caught him slipping! Oh, but he doesn't get the knockdown. Okay, but he doesn't get another hit, so he's probably gonna vanish to make sure this hit. Oh my god, yo, so many scramble hits, but I mean, hey, whatever, as long as he gets the knockdown into level one here to kill. Oh my god! That was a very interesting, like, improvised combo there. I can tell Chris G was making it up as he went along. Yeah, and well, you know, it when worked. You, when you play Marvel 3 that much, you improvise literally everything. Oh, and Vegeta is catching the 2 H. This is looking so good here for Chris G. He's got the point character down. He's got Cell in the corner. Yeah, he was just a little bit too high up, so Sonic Fox recognized that. Yeah, you can't banish Rolling Crash. You cannot banish. That move is privilege in a nutshell. It is a giant meme. That move is a giant meme. Here we go. Kid move. And he jumps out of the ball. What good awareness right there. Because, like, there was no option he could do there to stop him from jumping, right? So, Chris G very smartly going toward it, and then there was a very smart 2M after that should reflect. You're saying very smart, but at the same time, it's pretty much the default option. Fair enough. It's like, hey, do you reckon that Kid Boo's going to reflect in 2M? You're like, yeah, probably. Why but no, I but it, look, it, it's smart because it is so effective. And a lot of other characters don't have that option. Oh, he jumped out of the command throw. That, now Chris G can't command throw anymore. I mean, command throws in this game in general are quite hard to hit. This game has about, I think it's eight frames of throw protection or so after hit or block stun. It's very tough to land it on someone. Nice, he did the reflect, recognizing that he was going for the anti-air command grab. He's going to get Vegeta in there and no 2H, but he got down so, for the bunch. I'm so surprised we didn't see a 2H there. Yeah, from Sonic Fox especially. He looked like he was waiting. Oh, he got out though. That's great for Chris. And he got the hit on the way down. Chow, Chow Tzu. He's trying to get that Vegeta assist back. Okay, there's the sparking right there. No down tech for Chris. He just tries to get out of the corner. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. He's got the hit. He can run out the sparking timing here. Try to get the end out of there. He wants to make sure he has a nice, healthy character that's going to punish. He got the vanish. There it is. He's doing such a good job of just running out the clock here. Sparking is almost over, and Sonic Fox got nothing, got nothing from it. Oh, yeah, he can reflect that. Yep. Oh, but Sonic Fox with the instant air dash right over. He's going to get some Krispy Kreme over here. Level three. No, just level one, level three. I feel you. Way more damage. You got a lot of resources. Why not? Parking is Sparking definitely is. an option here. But if you back dashes into the two, yeah, so Sonic Fox is definitely looking for the sparking there. Chris G knew it, didn't take the bait. He dropped it. He let him out of the corner, unfortunately. Don't on race coming out. I, oh my god, I what can't believe he was, was he on. I can't believe he was pressing buttons there. I would have been terrified. I just I didn't know which side he was gonna be on, left or right, and maybe Sonic Fox didn't either. Well, I'm because he was not ready for it, he's gonna get big bang attack. Cell's coming in, but there's so much sparking time left on Chris G's Vegeta. Oh what my the heck god! Was that? Oh yeah, he tried to 2H on purpose like that. And that's what that jump S was for to catch that. Five L's trying to catch him doing something. Good defense there by Sonic Fox, waiting out oh. sparking. No! Whiff punish! He was a pixel out of range. And that should do it here for game three. Three, or level one, level one, yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes it, it does more damage than level three for sure. It's TN level one, I mean, come on. Chris G stays in it, it's two to one. Uh, Sonic Fox, I mean, he's still on tournament point. Like, this is not, he's still on tournament point. Chris G's really got to fight an uphill battle. He has to, like, he's, he's on two, he has to win two games straight because that last game, like, it's three games straight. Yeah. But the other thing is, you have to think about the fatigue factor. Like, these guys have been playing, I think it's for over half an hour now. It was it three to two, now it's two to one. They've been playing on that stage for a long time. So we, we just got word that this set has been 40 minutes. It is a 40 minute set. 40 minutes and counting. Yeah. So that's really something you got to think about. Like the mental fortitude that it takes to stay this focused for this long. <laughs> to attack all these dragon rushes to still defend. 
Both these guys like such veterans of the tournament circuit. They've been in this place, you know, a hundred times before. Oh. Being able to do two low, standing lows at once is so messed up. Probably gonna see a guard cancel. No, Vanish, and there it is! But he tried to Dragon Rush on the way down, and that ended up allowing him to get Tien in there. And that's so... It's so critical that Christian managed to save his bard off there. Uh -huh. Actually, we got some more stats coming for you guys. Apparently, Chris G, including the loser's final, has been playing for over one hour straight. An hour and three minutes, evidently. The overhead, oh my god, the blocks right now, there comes Cell, and it doesn't work out for Chris, so he's gonna get that boy back in here. Give me that Bardock. He jumps out, though. Oh, counter hit, no conversion. No, no conversion. He should have had that. Well, he didn't, so... There comes Vegeta finally, he finally made his way in there. Oh, and he ran under it. The he jump M up. did not hit. Bardock's jump M, for everything that's great about the character, his jump M does not have the best hitbox. Well, it doesn't in that situation downward, right? But it's horizontal and upward, like vertically. Exactly. So it's really strong. Sony Fox knew about that. He dashed in. He took the character. And as we've been talking about time and time again, that first character death is so critical in contributing to the momentum of the match. Oh, no. And that's a huge Dragon Rush right there because this character should more than likely go down. I do believe three level ones, that'll do it. Here comes 18. Finish it off. Sonic Fox would love to close this out with 18. Oh he's come in, his plan is to play her from start to finish. If he can win the grand final using her, I'm sure it'll just make it that much sweeter. He's trying to break Vegeta's arm again. Oh my god, the 2 age! Wow, what a reaction! Okay, there's the lows, here comes the Kid Ball. This is where it gets impossible to block sometimes. That jump light was so late. And he still gets a launcher after all of that. Yep. Oh, he dropped it. And Chris, Chris was not attacking. But this is it. I, I can only assume we're going to see a sparking on wake up. He doesn't like really it. have any other option. Oh, but he's oh, out of that. He's looking for the timing to sparking. Oh, and there's that 2 H immediate sparking. He wanted what? a knee no. bottom. No! What? I hope he loses. Oh, they're fine. That was, uh, that was interesting, that's for sure, but that's going to close it out. More than likely. I don't see why it wouldn't. That's going to be is all the way through. Sonic Fox is your Northwest Majors 10 Dragon Ball Fighters champion in the bracket reset, 3-1. to one. Well deserved, hard fought by both players. That was a lot of very, very Chris high quality Dragon Ball. Chris almost did it, dude. He was so close. When he reset that bracket, when he made that 10 comeback, I was a believer. I thought... He could do it. He can bring this all the way back. Uh, well, I mean, he tried, and you can see it right there in the grand finals. And so here, your top eight, such a strong showing a Dragon Ball Fighter player, and a lot of them from the Summit of Power. You guys saw Sonic Fox in first place, Chris G second, Nakiel third, the hometown hero Chad draws things in the fourth oh. place. We, we had such strong representation from the local scene as well. Yeah. It's just uh, a shame that these, you know, out of status came in and bit you guys up and stole your lunch money. Oh, well, you know, it's not my problem. I'm not Seattle. <laughs> That's fair. I'm not Seattle either, so it's like no bias, right? <laughs> I only had one bias, and that was for Peach Cola, who got fifth. And she, very strong sewing from her. Yeah. She had a lot of work that she put in with that kid, Boo. She, just she actually was kind of close. Through people. She was actually kind of close to taking a game off that kill, if I remember right. Yeah. And but. I got to give a shout out to Ruka playing Vegito. He's Vegito. a cool character. Yeah, just look at my speed! <laughs> Showed us some cool stuff like the 5L just dominates clash situations. Yeah. He had a couple of cool setups, but unfortunately.